Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Moore from TrainWins.com, and this is our update for September 10th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at how the markets finished off last week. On Friday, we saw stocks close mostly lower. It was really led by energy and, and a few uh, information technology stocks, uh, as well as the effects from um, Hurricane Irma and recently Harvey uh, on, on those insurance stocks. We'll take a few a look at a few of those in a moment, but let's start with the index charts. The Dow Jones, <clears throat> excuse me, the Dow Jones Industrial did manage to gain 13 points, but if we take a closer look at this, it really is range bound and it is squeezing here. It's coming into a wedge um, that's going to give soon here. Um, so this is the key watch and wait for that breakout either above that upper edge of the wedge or below but for now we are stuck firmly within this range the s p 500 on friday finished lower by about three and a half points is also in a very similar range while the nasdaq was down 37 and a half coming back again within that range this one still does have a little upward momentum though we'll keep an eye on that but more importantly what did the Russell do? Well, it was up slightly, 0.76, still <clears throat> range bound here as well. Remember, what we're waiting for here is either a break above last Thursday's, um, or actually it's the November, uh, September 5th bar, or a break below these lows near 134. That's going to be the next key move for uh, IWM or the Russell 2000 bonds. On Friday, um, we're down about 28 cents. While gold was pretty flat, and it was higher in the day. I actually put in a fresh new high at 13.57 before pulling back. And crude uh, was, which was one of the main reasons why things were mostly lower, was down over 3% on Friday. So a pretty ugly close there. Now, as I mentioned. Um, these hurricanes lately have really, really done a number on a few insurance stocks. Let's look at a few. VR is one, and there you can see that follow. Now, we did see a bounce on Friday, but, I mean, we're far from putting in a bottom just yet. Uh, RE was another one. There's that fall off. I mean, giving up a, a good, good portion of their annual gains, and uh, AHL was another one. A few stocks that will likely benefit, you know, the Home Depots of the world, the Lowe's, you know, all those uh, construction material firms, um, as well as maybe something like a Walmart uh, that might. But the key to all of these, whether you're trying to catch more downside or a bottom on some of those insurance stocks or get in on some of the upside for Home Depot or Lowe's, is to wait for proper setups. Um, you know, looking at some of those insurance stocks, you cannot just uh, either try to catch a falling knife here, as we say. That's when you're going to re really get hurt. <coughs> Excuse me. You need to wait for some sort of major reversal signal here. You know, coming in at a level of support. If we go to the higher time frames, you can see there is some congestion in this area here. And we're seeing a bit of a bounce. But what you really want to see is some sort of, of pivot. You'd like to see something like down in here where you put in a low and you have two candles before it that have higher lows and two candles after it that have higher lows with some follow through you need some sort of bottoming formation we do not have that yet this is a free fall the best thing to do is stand aside and wait for a proper setup now this week like um all the others there will be several uh news announcements uh, economic reports uh, data points to look at, uh, but something on Friday um, is quadruple witching uh, day on this coming Friday, which only happens four times a year. That is when, on the same day, the index futures, stock index futures, stock options, and single stock futures all expire on the same day. What this means is that typically it's a much more volatile day. You're going to see a lot more back and forth on Friday. Um, it happens on the third Friday of every March, June, September, and December. Something to make a note in your journal, and especially if you're day trading, there will be opportunities intraday, but it is going to be a wild ride, most likely. Um, so be careful 
on Friday. Okay, that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you on our next update.